Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper and welcome everybody back to a brand new video. In this one, what we're going to be looking at is the top 5 hardest guns to use in PUBG. But not only are we just going to be looking at them, but I'm also going to be showing you how to use these guns as well. Now these are weapons that I get a lot of questions about, so today I thought I would help you guys understand it and play it a little bit more efficiently. So it's essentially going to be the 5 weapons that are extremely hard to use, but if you get a good grasp on them, you can really do some damage. So just before we get started into that, you guys have been supporting the, these PUBG videos for the past month and a half to some insane levels and we've been getting over 2,000 likes on every video and this one I think we're going to aim for 3,000 likes that would be absolutely amazing so be sure to leave a thumbs up if you do learn anything useful from this video or you're entertained at all I really appreciate it definitely make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you are brand new for daily PUBG videos and live streams I'd love to have you out here it's a great place to be make sure you go join my discord server down below in the description also if you have not already and one more final thing I need you guys to let me know in the comments I've been trying to get a gauge about this of whether you like to watch first person games gameplay or third person gameplay in videos. I like playing both and I like posting both and I know there's an audience for both perspectives so I'm just tr trying to get a gauge on to what the majority kind of prefers so if you could leave in the comment section just putting FPP for first person or TPP for third it'll help me get a really good gauge on how much of both perspectives I'm going to end up posting. So anyways with all that being said let's go and get started on the top five hardest guns to use in PUBG. So coming in at the number five spot is the brand new weapon the SLR. Now this is a DMR that was recently added into the PC build of the game. Game. I don't know if it's currently on Xbox or on mobile, but it should be coming very, very soon. Now, I think that the reason why this is such a difficult gun for a lot of people, including myself, it can be a little bit tricky, is because number one, it is newer, so it does take just a little bit of getting used to, but also just the recoil pattern, like compared to some of the other DMRs, like the Mini 14 and the SKS, which are all really kind of predictable and you can sort of control with whatever attachments you want to put on it. The SLR is a little different where it kicks in a very unique pattern all the time, and it's hard to really get a grasp for. And also, not to mention the bullets drop really hard as well especially at like a medium kind of longish or range distance the mini 14 is has like a pretty standard velocity it doesn't drop too bad at all and the bullets are extremely fast however the slr's bullets are a bit slower and it drops super hard so if you don't have a great scope or you don't really know how or don't understand how this gun is going to work then it can end up screwing you over in the long run now the way I recommend you play this gun, and yes, it is going to take a lot of time getting used to, but I would say that either throw like a four to six times on it for right now, just get practicing with it, understand the bullet drop, and then start sniping at a little bit longer ranges with the 8x and then see how you feel. If not, I would recommend that you use the SKS. It's a little bit easier to get a grip on, especially the fact that you can load it up with attachments uh, as compared to the SLR, but it's just a little bit of a more bare bones, kind of harder DMR to use in the SKS. And as far as attachments go, I would just recommend a compensator and extended and a cheek pad. Once you're able to get a good feel for this gun and you kind of just got that muscle memory, you're going to absolutely destroy people. I've been getting a lot better with this weapon than of, of course, especially when it came out. And uh, I've already seen a huge noticeable difference in how my shot is placed on people and just how overall efficiently I use it as well. Now coming in at the number four spot for today is the Groza and the reason why I'm putting this on one of the harder weapons to use in PUBG is because first of all this is only an airdrop so the amount of player experience on average as compared to the common spawn weapons is low so it's not like it's going to be the most comfortable feeling weapon whenever you get it so it's going to be one of those things that you get every once in a while but the reason why it's a little bit more difficult is because of how it acts. Now this thing can just you can hose people up close if you're able to put your shots on correctly and if they're at like a very very close range of I don't know maybe less than 100 meters anything above that the Groza really suffers on now because the lack of attachments that you can put on you can put on a mag you can put on a site of course and also like a, a suppressor or something like that but you don't have a lot of choices when it comes to attachments and how you want to play the weapon so the only way to really do it is to be up close and personal and for that reason it's not very flexible like an M4 to where it can handle itself at almost any range so it's either like up close or nothing with this weapon another thing about the Groza is that the recoil while it's not necessarily like rough and it doesn't kick a lot but it's just very unpredictable and I think that's the worst like I'd rather have a gun that kicks a lot but that's still easy to predict and control rather than have a gun that doesn't kick a whole lot in terms of just like actual shaking around but it's unpredictable and it's, it's just very very random and that's why I feel like the Groza is one of those guns that's a super random kick and that's why I don't run it a lot I think it's a harder weapon to use in this game but of course if it's in the right hands and somebody's a Groza professional and that's the only weapon they play then of course they're gonna 
be great with it. Now, coming in at our number three spot is surprisingly the Winchester. A lot of people ask me about how they can get good with the Winchester, and I'm gonna be honest, don't I, I, I'm not gonna recommend the Winnie at all. But since some people are asking about how they can get a little bit better with it, I'm gonna try my best to explain how this gun works and how you should best use it. The Winnie is the only lever action rifle that exists in PUBG, and it's also strictly only in the Miramar map. So, what happens is you take one shot and you have to pull the lever before you can fire again and that takes around half a second to do so you're like shots per minute and how many you can actually put off and you can only hold eight is not amazing and there's really no reason to run this gun over anything else also the fact that you can only put one attachment on it you can put you some bullet loops on there is not the greatest thing in the world you can't even attach any of the sights and that's one of the winchester's biggest problems is that the iron sights are nothing to write home about the damage isn't too strong either so this is the the only what the only time you're going to use the winnie is if you find it up in the early game or this is all you have if you get caught in like a kind of like somewhat medium range fight it's not bad for that to be honest especially if your opponent has lower level gear it's quite easy to delete them that way and uh you can kind of use it like a dmr almost like a slower mk14 is the way i like to think about it but and when it comes to other weapons in the game you pretty much have plenty of other options to drop this for so i'm going to say that the best way to use the winchester is with some bullet loops and only at the beginning to uh, mid game at these close or medium range gunfights and other than that the best tip I can give you is don't and if you really want to give yourself a challenge if you want to win a game of Miramar with just a Winchester and an R45 that is quite an accomplishment there if you can do that then big ups to you now coming in at our number two spot is the AWM now while this gun is not particularly hard just to shoot it's actually quite simple just a, it's a point and tap gun but the problem with the AWM is that yes it is only strictly an airdrop so again player experience is going to be relatively low as compared to the other rifles but also the fact that the ammo is irreplaceable and you usually only get about 20 25 shots you don't have a lot like in the grand scheme of things especially if you miss a little bit but if you're able to actually hit somebody with a bullet they're pretty much dead you can destroy level three helmets pretty much take down any kind of armor within one shot and uh, it's a it's an amazing weapon if you can hit those shots but if you don't it's super punishing uh if you miss a lot and i was actually streaming last night uh, if you guys were there and we had a situation to where it was a one 1v1 and the last bullet that I used was on the second to last guy and he had level three armor so i had to waste it on him and then the final guy i ran out of ammo and i didn't have any more awm it's not like i could replace it or grab a new gun or anything like that so i was pretty much screwed so you really have to watch how many bullets you're using because it will go away quickly if you're not paying attention and another really interesting thing about the awm is that yeah the bullet velocity is really high so the bullets travel at a very fast speed but i don't think it's as high as some people make it out to be right that you expect this really huge beefy sniper to be have like one of the the fastest traveling bullets in the game that's actually not the case and i think people overestimate that a little bit which makes them shoot oddly with the awm i see that a lot from some players and it's just something that you have to get used to and play the game a lot to get around but it was an interesting tidbit of information that i definitely had to learn now before we unveil our number one spot of this list i definitely wanted to make sure i mentioned this gun as an honorable mention as i'm sure a lot of you guys would agree with me but another really hard weapon to use in PUBG is the vss now the thing about the vss is that it is probably one of the most most interesting weapons in the game because of all its like attributes it's got a built-in suppressor and the fact that it shoots nine mil the bullets are so small and quiet that you're pretty much undetectable at any range outside of 100 meters like people will literally have no idea where you're shooting them from depending on what kind of hiding spot you're in and it's great because this gives you the opportunity to lay down the shots that you need to take somebody down the downside is that since the bullets are so small and kind of weak is that you have to hit multiple shots if you want to even take someone down if they have anything above a level two vest or, or armor like that it's going to be a long time and you have to put a lot down if you want to bring them out when it comes to how you should use this weapon it's not like an awm or an m24 where you can pick people off at very long ranges don't use the vss for that it's actually really good at more medium-ish to kind of longer ranges when people don't know where you are and uh, you have a lot of time to take them down and it's actually surprisingly pretty good up close as well if you want to throw it in full auto because it does have that function and just sort of hip fire spray people it's 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 not conventional but it's really not that bad 
So finally, ladies and gentlemen, taking our number one spot for today is none other than the good old DP-28. Now, this weapon is an inconsistent nightmare. Don't get this misconstrued. I'm not saying that this is a bad weapon at all. In fact, I think the DP is probably one of the better guns in the game at this point. But the problem is, is that it's very inconsistent. The reload time is absolutely atrocious. And when you're also, when you're playing in first person, the gun takes up about 40% of your screen. So spotting people is going to be tricky as well. It also doesn't help that at medium and long ranges, you can't really tap people that way because the bullets are extremely slow. I mean, you can try and it's possible, but it's not the best thing to do it. And attachment wise, the only thing you can put on is a sight. So you, there's not really much you can do to control recoil or anything like that, just besides your own like control of your hands. But on the other side of that coin, you can completely hose people when you're up close and especially in uh, close quarters combat places like school or Hacienda or anything like that. If somebody walks down a hallway and you have a DP and you just let loose they're they're literally dead like there's no way they can come back from that and of course the reasons why it's a hard gun to use is just because of its inconsistency the lack of customization on it and also the fact that you really need to tactically reload you need to decide when is appropriate you don't want to be re reloading all the time especially when you know there's a lot of people around you maybe 10 more bullets in that magazine can get the job done and if you reload you might die so you really just have to be thinking one step ahead with the dp it's a gun that takes a long time to get used to and i would recommend that if you want to sort of learn hard guns and also start with the dp28 as it is pretty good for that as well but anyways guys i think we can go ahead and pretty much wrap the video up here that has been the top five hardest weapons to use in pubg and how to use them i hope i was able to give you some like useful tips on how to run these guns a little bit better and that kind of thing and uh if it did make sure you guys do please make sure you do leave a thumbs up on the video it helps me out greatly also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you are brand new and let me know in the comment section if you do like watching third person gameplay or first person better as i'm really just trying to get a a sort of solid uh, agreement on to what I should be posting. Maybe I'll do both for certain cases. We'll see. But anyways, guys, thank you once again for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great yesterday, and I'll see you all on the next stream or the next video. Peace out.